I've left our families to do a little bit of their own exploring today while I check out a bit of Redcliffe's history. I'll catch up with them later on for lunch at Sutton's Beach Pavilion Cafe. With a bit of time on my hands, it was time to boogie on down and catch up with Barry, Robin and Morris, some of the town's most notable past residents. I refer, of course, to the Brothers Gibb, or the Bee Gees as they're known right around the world. This is Bee Gees Way, a tribute to the boys from England that came to this area to start their rise to fame and fortune, built on brotherly love and a high falsetto to make a grown man's eyes water. This is where it all kicked off for the Gibb boys, right here in Redcliffe. The whole story's here. They talk about how they used to go down trying to catch tiger sharks out the front, swimming around under the jetty, picking up pennies that dropped out a tourist's pocket. There's a story for you there, kids. Never stop picking up pennies. You never know where it might get you. Got the Gibb boys a long way, didn't it? This area was opened in 2013 and the man himself, Barry Gibb, was in attendance. There's no doubt about it. Barry Gibb and I, two peas in the pod. Bazza, Gibbo, Macca. You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Yep. It really does tell the story beautifully. It's almost like the artists are actually there themselves. I must admit, if I was going to get a statue made, I'd uh, get myself to look taller as well. You boys make me feel a bit inadequate, but uh, happy to sing along if you want. Two, three, four. The Gibbs had their first gigs at Redcliffe Speedway and signed their very first contract on the kitchen table in Scarborough. Ah, this one's a little bit more realistic, a bit more life-sized. Well done, fellas. So strap on your dancing shoes and take in the story of the three brothers and their harmonising that resulted in over 120 million album sales. A fantastic tribute.